All right, workout F. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, looping around it three times with a six station strength day. Um, first two stations will be single leg deadlifts. So if they are completely balanced challenge, coordinated challenge, just have them go into their straight leg deadlift. If they want the challenge, they can go into their single leg straight leg deadlift. So remember, if it's in the left hand, the left leg's going up. If it's in the right hand, the right leg is going up. Make sure that knee is soft. We're hinging through the hip, neutral low back. Making sure our hips are not opening and our toe is not flaring out, it's pointing straight down. If they need a hand on the wall for extra balance, encourage them to do so there. So do a full round on a leg. Station two, full round on the other leg. Station three, we're gonna be doing a T plank with a chest press. So, for our level one T plank, we're gonna be on our hand, stack the knees, and we're chest pressing out. We'll switch at the halfway. Level two, stagger your feet, chest press out. For our level three, this is really difficult, we're gonna go into a single arm crab walk position. We're gonna pivot and go. That was really bad right there. <laughs> so, pivot and go. Back to the uh, crab walk. Pivot and go here. Repeat here until the halfway. Switch it up. Station four will be a wall press dead bug. So they're against the wall. Shoulder press into the wall here. Our level one is just going to be holding this. Our level two, march. And then our level three, is dropping that single leg all the way down there. Number five, RKC plank. So this one is just activating more anterior core with this plank. What we wanna do in the plank position is drive the elbows down as hard as we can and the toes up as hard as you can. So when you're in this plank position, I'm driving this way with my arms and this way with my legs without moving anything. So, it's very natural for them to start shaking right off the bat. Um, just tell them that's completely normal so they're not kind of freaking out as they do that plank. And then for station six, we're gonna be on the ground. We're gonna be doing a dumbbell chest fly. So on their back, elbows slightly flexed. We're gonna drop it all the way pretty much until they're about a few inches from the ground and then bring everything back up. So dumbbell, chest fly for 40 seconds to finish the, uh, the workout. And then for our finisher, it's gonna be another partner finisher, 25 on, five off. Partners do not switch until four rounds in. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna be doing a half kneel med ball chop and lift. They're gonna be tossing it to their partner. So if my right leg's in front, my partner's to my right, they're gonna toss it right in the bread basket Catch, slight rotation, and, and toss at them pretty hard. Catch, we'll stay here for 25 seconds. Once you hear the whistle, the partner will wrap around to the other side. We're just going the other way. We're doing this for four rounds. So third round, I'm here. Fourth round, I'm here. Once we do that for four rounds, then partners can switch. The other one is now doing the exercise, and the other one's now catching and tossing to them, okay? And that'll finish the phase.